we learned that hotels are extremely profitable in the state of Texas. And that that same class of business, same exposure, same franchises are not performing well in Maryland. And we gotta, we gotta discover the reasons behind that. And what we do discover when that specific example is, law amendment factors on a per state basis change. They're different. There's different benefit levels. There's different death benefits. There's also different rates in that state. So one of the things that is very valuable with RiskMD is it pulls um, every state individual specific information to include the return on equity, not just the rate of the business, and gives you that guidance on where <clears throat> that same exact class of business or portfolio, even if it's a niche of restaurants, where you should look towards um, managing and placing your portfolios. Also, evaluating what you have and focus loss control efforts or risk engineering or raise the price tag for those that you have in that state that's a non-performing state. So whether it's a barometer for use for proper rate or if it's a barometer for if I'm taking risk on a large deductible, I might not want to write hotels in the state of Maryland, but I might go all day long in the state of Texas. This is very valuable information that uh, carriers and actuaries pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for. We have access to that information and we provide that through our risk MD visualizations. We're a company of innovation. We happen to have a core discipline in placing insurance in a very difficult, distressed industry. That's what our business plan was founded on, is helping find markets in a distressed industry and helping them procure insurance. But without innovation, we're never going to stay ahead of the pack. We're never going to build something like a risk MD. It's going to change the, the playing field for workers' compensation as well as other lines of insurance. So definitely, definitely, risk transfer is a company of innovation.